so in this video we're going to attempt to do this requested question okay i'll just read it and try to tackle it hopefully i'll be successful right okay a uniform road has rod as <laughs> as has one end attached to a vertical wall so now we know there is a vertical wall like this by a frictionless hinge so now we know that on the wall there is a hinge okay a horizontal wire run from the end of the rod to the end um, of the rod to the end of the wall so this means we are going to have something almost like this okay remember here we have the hinge and we will have a, a rope running from here to here what did i call it wire let me just write wire holding uh, at an angle theta angle theta which here it's also angle theta okay doesn't matter much okay above the horizontal you vary the angle okay now they're changing this angle that we have here okay and that changes the length of the wire that's obvious you measure the tension on the wire okay you plot your data uh, to form a t versus okay now they plot a graph they plot a graph like this of which is a t for tension versus cot theta theta is this and then to find a straight line and then with that data you, you, your data become like this after your experiment and you find the slope of which is change in t change in cot theta you find that to be equal to 39 uh, newtons and the question was the mass of the rod okay so because we want this thing not to move right so we want it to be static for static i've said it on the previous video sum of the forces along y needs to be zero sum of the forces along x needs to be zero sum of the moments about any point let me just point hinge is because should be zero and then we can call this thing as static so as they attach this system we expect this thing to be static right so you can do some of forces some of for the long x and some of forces or i mean some of the moments are about any point so i'm going to take my moments about the hinge okay and also i also know they said something it's a uniform rod okay that means sense of mass is here there is weight here okay let me take my moments about this let me call this thing let me say this thing has length l because then give us length anyway so let me just call it length l so um some of the moment about point hinge should be zero you hope they are zero static so they are zero okay we're not hoping we know the reason is because this is static equilibrium right and the first force we have is the force by the tension this is the tension pulling like this so the distance perpendicular to this is going to be uh the length okay this is going to be length and this is opposite it's going to be sine theta and the force is tension okay it's causing a moment like this and i call this positive okay let's look at weight weight is going to be the in the middle so it's going it's going this way the moment it's negative that means i'll have minus weight but it's on the half on the midpoint of the of the of the beam remember it's uniform so the center of mass is just here in the middle so it's going to be length all over two okay and now 
the distance that this thing it's if the angle here the distance will be cos distance people look at distance so the point where the moments are taken is going to be cos theta and that should also be equals to zero there's another forces because these reaction forces that are here they have no arms so we don't put them in our moment formula okay so now i have t l sine theta and i take this to the other side i'll have weight weight is equal to l over 2 cos theta okay it's looking good okay this is what we have but i've noticed the l's in both sides we don't want this just go away so we'll have t sine theta should equal to weight over 2 cos theta let me get another page okay good and now i can say t i just divide by sine both side and the sine will disappear i'll have weight over 2 cos theta all over sine and then t is going to equal to weight all over weight vector all over 2 and i recognize this from your basic trigonometry that was inverse of tan because tan was supposed to be sine over cos now it's cos over sine that means that is exactly cot theta okay but on the problem we were given the gradient or the slope let me just say slope was the slope of t or the, the slope of t versus cot theta was equals to they really gave us that number was equal to this 39 okay and let me just i was here and now i'm going to divide by cot because i'm trying to make it look like this divide by cot theta both side i'll have t all over cot theta is equal to weight all over two so this now look like the slope that they gave us this is the slope right so we can now equate weight over 2 to 89 newtons right but they didn't want weight they wanted what mass if i remember very well on the equation where did i write it i don't know it was just here oh they want the mass of the rod this way I wrote it. Okay, so we're just going to change this weight to be mg, m for mass, g for 9.8 divided by 2 is equals to 39 newtons. And you do your math here, hopefully, you cross multiply, you have mm, 2.9 uh, newtons divided by g is equal to mass and you pull your calculator and you should get something like this and it is correct 94 kg this is the mass of the rod so in this question uh, questions it's always sound impossible looking at what the data they give you but normally just throw and then do the moment if the moment is not enough you do this if the moment is not enough you do the sum of forces along the y if there is not enough you move to this so because it's static you need to use this one and you're going to land to the very correct answer like this one of mine so if you find the video informative please don't forget to subscribe and then like the video, share it with your classmates, and also good luck with your homework questions.